uh, hi everyone so let's play with this graphql playground what you can do is uh, graphql also expose this playground on the port 4000 and you can actually use the graph iql this is the endpoint you can just open this up okay this is the graphql playground okay now what i do is either you can actually use this playground to run the queries and mutations this is the document which we are getting and this is our schema so if you see what we have in our schema i will just zoom it a little bit right we had the cat these are the mutations queries and user right so you can see what all types we have these are the queries and this one is the mutation we have and this is the documentation which is talking about what all queries and what all mutations you have i also use the another tool which is like the this particular client you can install it i'll take graphql client this is more convenient for triggering the queries and mutations what you can do is just click on to this it will give you the documentation okay the documentation looks like this these are the different queries we have so i will wipe this out you can just click on to this and you will add it as a query and then just run it right this is a hello world as a query similarly you have a cat query you will just send a request okay we can just let's keep this only one and we are getting this similarly you can also add a user's query here the address should have a type so we are getting house number and you will send it we get the data right so now you see this query and inside this this is the data which i'm looking for from the query from the users i need id and email and in the address object i need house number and house number is of type array right address is of type array so you can see that we got the house number as an array object okay and if you also see the document like this is the schema we are getting so in this we can actually load schema export sdl so this is our sdl we are getting i will just download it and we'll see this but this is a mutation right you can trigger the mutation same as the query so for query the syntax is like this query and your query name what you need okay for mutation these buttons are helpful in this plugin here this is a mutation create cat and you need to pass the name name i'm passing test and i will just send it so it is actually doing the mongodb connection and all so that's why it will fail for now but this is how you will actually send you will actually trigger the mutation you will actually trigger the queries okay and i will add this as a query and we can run this this is what we are getting so this is the graphql playground same as the postman client right but it has a lot of other features like you can add authorization custom header and this is the http post call we are making to this endpoint what we are sending is these queries and mutation from here if you want to trigger the mutation you see what we are adding in the query let's open the mutation and add query this is the mutation and this is the mutation name when you want to trigger a query then your block will become something different right your block is this is the query and this is the query name and you have the schema so it will help you to address any particular problem you have in a particular query okay and we will also add a dynamic variables like there is some object you are passing in the mutations then we will be creating a variable and we will be passing that variable here okay so this is all about uh, this graphql playground we have to test our api server